What is up, you guys? Ryan back, another MLB The Show 20 video. I made a video earlier today about the flash sale, and we are going to see where our stubs land after the flash sale. We're going to do our best to try to make some stubs, but we're also just kind of just going to rip some packs and see if we can get lucky. So we're at 151,000 stubs right now, as you can see on my screen, 151K. We should get three flash sale packs, one at four, one at five, one at six. We're going to open them up, see what we get, see where our stubs end up at the end, see if it was worth it or not. If you guys like this kind of content, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Helps me out a ton, guys. Also, check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash rydog54 if you ever want to talk in a live chat. And let's do some flash sales, guys. We're waiting for the first one right now. All right. So, it looks like you can buy one. It's one headliner player item for 25 k That's kind of expensive for a guaranteed headliner, but let's do it. All right, we're going to go ahead. We're going to open it up. I don't even know who's the expensive ones right now. Should probably move down to this side of the screen so we don't get in the way. All right, guys, you ready to see what we can get here? 25K. Guaranteed diamond headliner. It's a pitcher. Please be Cole Hamill. It's a closing pitcher. Oh, no. We got John Franco, didn't we? Oh, God. Who else is a lefty? It's going to be John Franco. I know it. Oh, Jake McGee. Let's go. He's got to be worth something, right? Come on. That's act This is a card I'm considering keeping, actually. I'm looking for a third arm in my bullpen from the left side. So, Look at that. We made some stubs. Let's go. Jake McGee. Let's see what his price is. Oh, no. His price dropped tremendously already, guys. So with these headliner packs, they're going to drop. So... I'm going to hold on to his card just for right now. His card should go up. This is definitely an elite left arm out of the bullpen. So I'm going to hold on to this card until this flash sale is over with. See if we can sell it for more than 25K. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to... We'll see if we made... We'll, made, we'll see if we made stubs, basically. So, all right. That is flash sale numero uno. We now have to wait an hour. Cue the intermission screen. All right, we're about one minute from the next flash sale dropping, guys. As you guys can see, Jake McGee's already back over the 25K mark, so we have profited from that. I'm still going to hold on to the card because I really do think he could go back to 35, 40K. We could get a better profit out of it. Who knows? Maybe I'll end up holding on to him just because I faced this card a couple of times, and honestly, he's really nasty. He's, he's tough to hit. He throws gas. All right, we got the live series diamond for 25K, guys. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. So we guaranteed an 85 through 89, and then one out of 10, we have a 90 plus chance. We just pulled the top tier headliner. I guess not top tier, but like uh, we, we profited. So like a better, better one. So, or a higher end one, I should say. So one live series player. Come on, be someone I don't have that's worth a lot, and I'll be so happy. Let's see it. Okay, come on. National League hitter, right fielder. Oh, God, who could this be? Be Co I know it's a righty. I was like, Cody Bellinger. National field right fielder, that's a righty. I'm legit drawing a blank right now. Who is this? Hey, Mookie Betts. He's not worth crap this year, though. Oh, I don't have him, though. So. Oh, that's rough. That's not good. That's not good, boys. Yeah, he's only worth 6K. So we went from up like 3K to now down. We just lost 20K on that, roughly. So now we're like we're like 16k below now. So not the best. I might actually hold I'm going to I'm going to hold on to Mookie Betts. He's not really worth selling, but with the MLB season starting, 
he might jump to a 90 and his price might go up a lot. We don't know. If his if he ends up performing in LA and this card goes to a 90, this could be something that is worth something in the future at least. So not the card we are looking for, of course, but hey, we got one more chance at this flash sale thing. I'm probably gonna go take like a 50 minute nap and then come back. We're gonna open up this last pack. So intermission screen. Dear Lord, baby Jesus, or as our brothers to the south call you, hey Zeus. All right, you guys, we're about two minutes out from the last pack of the flash sale. I decided to check out the community market. And man, guys, look at all these cheap diamonds. You can get Francisco Lindor right now for 6.9K. All these guys under 10K. It's actually ridiculous. Christian Yelich for 10K. I'm, I sh I'm probably going to buy any of these guys I don't have. Depending on all the, how this last pack goes. I'm hoping it's a duck in the pond pack. That's my guess. But we will see here in just a moment. All right. couple seconds here. What's the new one going to be, boys? Let's reload the store. For the last one, we get 20K for a elite ducks on the pond pack. That's actually what I was predicting. So I'm happy about that. I was messaging my Discord chat saying hopefully that this was going to be the final pack. So let's go ahead. Let's buy it. 20K. Our, our ducks on the pond packs, we're, we're just terrible. So maybe a discount one will be a bit, little bit nicer to us. We've two for two on the base round. So hopefully we can get at least a rare. I would love to get an elite, obviously. Let's just do this thing. All right, we got rare. I'm okay with that. These prices are a lot lower than I would like, but these cards are all usable. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take Zach Grinky, I believe. Just because he's going to go in my rotation. So we ended up losing stubs in this one regardless. So yeah, I'm just going to take Grinky because he's actually going to go in my rotation he's gonna go in the five spot here for el duque so i'm cool with that honestly we lost some more stubs unfortunately but it wasn't a lot uh i'm guessing if the prices go back up we'll probably break even with the elite and the headliners we might even make some some stubs on the headliners and we lost a bunch on the live series unfortunately so that was the only bad one so it looks like Jake McGee's going up right now. I'm still going to hold on to this card, guys. But as of right now, we actually made roughly like 7, 8K on this pack. So we're up 7. And then Mookie Betts. Mookie Betts, unfortunately, the price went up a little bit. The price went up to 8K from 6K, so, but unfortunately, that still means we lost like 17, 18K-ish. So where does that put us at? Busting out the handy-dandy calculator, boys. So we had 151K stubs. We spent 25K on the headliner pack spent 25k on the live series and we spent 20k on the ducks in the pond so we have 81k stubs left makes sense so then we have mookie bets i'm going to add this so we'll just say 85 the rough estimate plus jake mcgee was 32 plus Zach Grinky, and I'm just gonna double check his price one more time. It's probably gonna keep going down for right now, though. Oh, I was like, wasn't he a Dodgers card? It's a Royals card, isn't it? That would make sense as to why I can't find it. So right now he's at 13k. Again, I'll have to reevaluate this card when the prices go back up. I think this is gonna be around a 20k card ish, but we'll just say we'll say 13.5 for now. So 13.5. So with that said, 135k stubs, guys. So we ended up we got three diamond cards, and if we were to sell them all, we would have lost 16k stubs. It's not the worst, honestly. The live series hurt us badly, but 
who knows? We'll see where these cards end up going. Hopefully, I'm going to hold them all until the market goes back up. So, Or I'm going to use them because McGee and Grinky are nasty. And Mookie Betts, you know, maybe he'll go up with Inside Edge. Plus, I don't have them for collections. So, honestly, I'm happy with it. Three cards I didn't have. Three cards that I can use in my Ranked Seasons lineup. Okay, two cards I can use in my Ranked Seasons lineup. And one I can use to collect. So, you know, honestly, it's pretty worth it in my opinion. For three cards, only losing, like, what did we just say it was? 16K stubs. It's not bad. So, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. You guys have a great rest of your day. I'll talk to you guys next time. See ya.